Judge, today's case, know it all. According to my paperwork, we have a case full of tattoos, TVs, and a whole lot of sex. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure what we're about to see. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Leandre Taylor and Shante Washington. The two of you have been together for five years. You have two children together. Uh, you don't think you can be together anymore. You are seeking $300 for a smart TV. Uh, let me start with you, Ms. Washington. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here today? Judge, I'm here because my man is a sex addict. He has a problem, and we need to do something about this. It's kind of crazy, like three to seven times a day. Hey, Your Honor, I don't Your understand. Honor, Your Honor. Hey, hang on, hang on. Three to seven times yeah. a day. Yeah, like, and if he don't get it three to seven times a day, he wants it from other people. So, Mr. Taylor, is that accurate? Uh, that's accurate, but that's not accurate, though, Your Honor. I only want her. <laughs> Mr. Taylor. It's not accurate, Your Honor. I only want her. I only want her. And I only feel like, want her? Yeah, I feel like, I, you know what? I am a sex addict. I mean, I want to get it all in before I'm 40. I got a lot of juices in me. So... Whoa, 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 whoa. What's, what, what, what's with the deadline at 40? Because, you know, I might be old. I probably ain't going to want to do it no more. I might want to sit and play the game and... Oh, you, 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 know you misunderstand. Mean? I ain't telling you why I well, know. You just misunderstand. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you. So, it was a time when I woke up late. Now, we had had sex the night before. Right. And, I mean, I don't mind having sex. It's, I love it. We, mm -hmm. It's good. So, I don't mind. But I so woke up late mind, for work. Man. I had about uh, 15 minutes to get ready. So, I decided to go to work at 8 o'clock instead of 7. He figures because I decided to go to work at 8 o'clock that we have time to fool Your around. Your Honor, she always hang on, late. Hang on. Now, how do we have time to fool around when I'm stretching the time? Right, right. I'm trying to get in the shower. I want to wake all the way up. Right, I need you to get, get, get it together yeah, so you I can gotta go to get work. myself together. But unfortunately, I can't get myself together unless I get him together. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Taylor, what do you have to say <laughs> about that incident? Your Honor, I would tell you like this, Your Honor. She always wanted to say some stuff like that, but she promised me, like, we're going to do it. Like, she liked to go out, and she'd be like, oh, when you stay, I like to stay home with the kids so she can have a good time. So she'd be like, I'm about to go out, and when I come back, we're going to do it. We're going to do it good. So right. I'm like, all right. <laughs> all right, we get to the house, the first thing she do is throw up and go to bed. <laughs> the first thing she do, you know? Oh. So, I, you know what, me, I'm like, you know what, I don't want to do it like that, so I'm going to just wait until the morning. You right. know what I mean? I'm going right. to be more conservative. I'm going to wait until the morning. So right. I wake up in the morning, I wake up in the morning, I'm ready like coffee. Like, I'm ready. Right. So now she got an attitude. Now she got an attitude because I want to get some. Then I'd be like, dang. But if it was the other way around, though, Your Honor, say if she wanted some and I didn't feel like doing it, all of a sudden I'm cheating or I'm doing something else, now I'm getting interrogated for a whole week, Your Honor. A whole yeah. week. So I was pregnant with our last daughter. She's only one year old, so you know it wasn't that long ago. When I was pregnant with her, I had pelvic pain, kind of like a cracked pelvis, but it wasn't really cracked. It was fractured, more like she sat right, right there on my pelvis. So I didn't really want to have sex. It was right. hard. It hurt it. So I tell him that, and he gets mad at me and throws a fit and have a temper tantrum and tells me he's going to go out and have sex with other women because I don't want to have sex. That's I'm not hurting. True, Your Honor. Mr. Taylor, that's did not that true. happen? No, that's not true, Your Honor. Will you tell me what, you, what happened? That's not true, Your Honor. So what happened was, yeah, she had pain, but she had pain. She had pain for like, complaining she had pain for four weeks. I know she ain't been in pain for that long. Like, and I would look, look, Your Honor, look, I'm seriously, Your Honor, I'm thinking in my head, like, man, you just don't want me to do it to you because she was already mad. She always had an excuse. She always had an excuse. So I'm like, man, come on, it's been like four or five weeks. Did, did, and did she's you pregnant, know she so had you know a fractured good. pelvis? I don't know about no fractured pelvis. I, That's we what she was complaining hospital. about. We went to the hospital. He, he didn't really want to go to the hospital with me while I was pregnant, but I made him go so that they can tell him they that I had no problems problem. down there. They, I, they gave no... me a belt to hold the baby up off of my pelvis and everything. Don't, don't, you don't remember the belt? You I don't, don't remember, remember that? I don't, I don't remember none of that. Let, let me tell you something, Mr. Taylor. This is, a, this is a common problem that I have with dudes coming in here. Don't want to get it in the least bit involved in their partner's medical situation. Just don't mm -hmm. want to do it. I don't care if you... I don't want to know about your pain. I don't want to know about what's happening over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. I can't go to the hospital. I'm scared to look at you. I'm scared to watch <laughs> you get a needle. Yeah. I, I, I can't watch you go through so much pain, so you got to do it by yourself. Y'all need to get it together. Yeah. Just own it. Move on. Nah. It's another
another time, though, Judge, that ain't even the end of it. So he talks about me coming in and throwing up from a hangover. Okay. If I come in and I'm sick and, you know, I, I tell him he cleaned up my throw up. Yeah, that's true. But why would you want to have sex with me if I'm sloppy? Exactly. I'm not together. You know what? I don't think you know they what? care. You know what? You I don't, don't think they care. <laughs> Your Honor, when I met her, she was in some pajamas or whatever. So I don't care if you sloppy or not, because I'm going to love you regardless. If you, your head messed up, you got a, a dent in your forehead or whatever the case may be. on your head, you don't, you don't a, care. I don't, give, I don't give a damn, Your Honor, because right, right. I love you for who you is. You know what I mean? Right. Inside and outside. So what's the problem? What's the problem with that? I, I, you got to look cute for me to have sex with you now? No. It's you gotta, not about me looking cute. It's about me understanding what's going on. That's right. It's about me being Conscious. in tune with what's yeah. going on. Yeah. I'm in yeah. tune. Not about me looking cute. I, ain't, I came home looking cute. I threw up, but that don't make me look ugly. <laughs> no, that do make her look ugly, but I still want her. <laughs> I still want her, though. You know what I mean? I still want her. You know what I mean? It's not an attractive yeah, sight. Yeah, no, it's not attractive, like, but I'm still attracted to her from the heart, like not from just the outside, you know what I mean? Yeah, so that oh. makes him a sex addict because of my heart. <laughs> do you really, do you, re he seems to really love you. Do you really believe he's having sex with other women Let me tell if he's you, not Dutch. having sex with you? <sighs> Let's start with a text message that my daughter was playing on the phone, his mm -hmm. phone, and she laying in front of me, we in the bed, and a text message pops up in the Yeah. Room. It's a young woman. She's uh, asking what he's doing. And he, this is him. Hey, Mommy, I wanted to know, can we have, like, a spontaneous one-night stand? Look, we, we do that? Mr. Taylor, can, you, can you, we you discuss we, that? We Your Honor, we won. We were probably we were talking at the time, Your Honor. We've we, we been having fights. We've been having fights. I probably wasn't sleeping in the same room with her at the time, Your Honor. So maybe I, maybe I did do that, Your Honor. I admit that. I admit that I did that. Right. For the simple fact that we was going back and forth. We was talking about we was breaking up or we was talking about we ain't going to be together. So I was like, all right, forget it. She ain't going to. And then, you know, usually when we break up, we, I still get some on the side. You know what I mean? From usually my, when I, we break up, yeah, I, still I still get, get some, some on the from, side. I still get some booty Judge. from her, even though we a week go by, we have an argument. If we don't argue, then something ain't right. You know what I mean? If we don't argue in her eyes, something ain't right. So we go by, we ain't arguing the whole week. And then she bring up the same story a week ago. You know what? Fish is me. I don't care what you say. Fish is me. I'm like, I'm like did you Google it? Your Honor, I said, did you Google it? I don't care what Google say. Fish is me. Fish is me. Definitely together. The date will tell me the same thing. Right, right. We were together. He was just being him. Right. That's what he do. Uh -huh. He think that if I'm not giving him as much sex as he need, he's going to go to other women. Well, he wants to be... Uh, he won't have spontaneous one-night stands. He wants to be boy toys and things of that Yana, nature. What a, Yana, tell her, explain about her. She, she thinks she, she think she in the clear. She ain't in the clear. He's just too young. That stuff What'd that she, she do? She be doing... The only thing is... The, the reason why she can see that because it's on the phone. She be... The difference is, I know I do text messages. She do her stuff through social media, Facebook and Instagram. And she so both to, of you are creeping yeah, and she, tipping she a little bit. Yeah, she was creeping, too, for, for existence. Like, for existence. Like, she hit me... Uh, I, at one time, I'm calling her. I'm calling her and like, yeah, what you doing? Now, Nothing. I'm on my way to the house, so I'm calling her like, what you doing? She's like, oh, nothing. I'm just outside with my friend. So I pulled up like, oh, your friend. I'm like, what you, what you ever doing? Oh, I'm, buying, I'm just buying fireworks. So I'm like, oh, you buying fireworks. But when I get there, he got all his doors open. He got the trunk open, the music blasting. I don't see no fireworks. I don't see no fireworks. <laughs> then, then when I do go up there and I'm like, who is this? She's like, oh, this is my friend. I'm like, I never met him before. She's like, oh, yeah, I used to work with him. But he came out of nowhere. I never met him in my life, never seen him. She never Good. introduced me to him to that that day, Judge, that night. He, he has definitely met this young man and may have not, not been true, in person, Your Honor. but That's he not, has definitely been That's introduced true, to Your him. Right. I don't know he's his name, Your Honor. He's just a co-worker. I got you. And the doors is open, the trunk is open because he's styling. He yeah. had just got it. He right. just signed a deal. He just got him a new truck. Why he's he styling, styling, though, when he's just he, trying to sell some fireworks? I, got he, you. I, got I bought you. the fireworks, <laughs> and the fireworks sat on the, on the counter. Uh, on where she was at? On the porch. Where she was at? And I'm at the trunk of his she was creeping. She wouldn't have a guy come over and open up oh, all the door. doors of his truck. I mean, I, 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 I just want to say that. <laughs> Ms. Mr. Mr. Taylor, you say she thinks she's always right and she can never admit that she's wrong. Oh, Tell me some oh, stories man. about that. Man, one time we were just driving and um, out the blue, usually she don't know how to ask me a question because when she asks me a question, it's always something negative. So at this time, I was shocked. We were just driving and she just bust down and said, hey, babe, you think, you think fish is considered meat? I'm like, what? 
fish is, I don't think fish is meat. I don't, I don't think it's considered meat. It's in the ocean, but I don't think it's considered like far as meat because she's trying to stop. She's trying to be on a diet, not eating red meat and chicken right, and stuff right, like that. Right, so right. she wanted to know if fish was okay to eat. I'm like, yeah, I don't think fish is meat. Right. Like, you can Google that. I don't think fish is considered meat. Right. So a week go by. Yeah. A, <laughs> a week go by, Your Honor. And then uh -huh. she just bust out of nowhere. And, and this is how I knew that was something because a week go by, we haven't argued. If we don't argue, then something ain't right. You know what I mean? We don't argue in her eyes, something ain't right. So we go by, we ain't arguing a whole week. Then she bring up the same story a week ago. You know what? Fish is me. I don't care what you say. Fish is me. I'm like, I'm like, did you Google it? Your Honor, I said, did you Google it? I don't care what Google say. Fish is me. Fish is me. We Googled it. Some people consider it to be me, but right. some fish people meat, don't. Uh, we both were right. He just don't like to say that. No, no, no. The thing. But why were you mad at him? I wasn't never mad at him. I only recall talking about it once. He made this may be an image that he put into his head. No, or this something. is not no image. This is I the only truth. recall talking this about it once. Your Honor, when I say she because don't, because I don't like to listen to him because she, she always think that he's right. She doesn't agree with the GPS. She don't. She is the GPS, but she don't. <laughs> She just, uh, she just like the 1999 version when they tell you to make a left, make a left, make a left. I'm telling you. He said that we was going to my friend house. Right. Why wouldn't I know how to get to my friend she house? She don't, because she, the reason why, because she doing too much. Why wouldn't I get lost? to my friend house? Didn't you get lost? No. He no, wanted no, to do his no, own no, thing. No, no, she, she, no, it's he not. He chooses to do his do own thing. Lost, and when, I, when he drives, which he forces himself to drive, when oh, he drives, no. he sits up there and, oh, I don't want to hear you say nothing. I don't want to hear you talk about me drive. I don't want to hear you tell me what to do. I got this. Because every time got I drive. If you got it, then why you waiting on me to tell you where to go? Every time I, first of all, Your Honor, she lying. Because if she knew where we was going, we wouldn't be talking about this, Your Honor. For real, for real. <laughs> Seriously, because she be on the phone trying to talk to people. She be on Instagram at the same time. She wait until we pass the light, and they be like, oh, we're supposed to make a left. When you're supposed to be paying attention, you GPS. You supposed to, I don't know where I'm going. She wants to have a threesome, and he's engaged in it. No, Your Honor, that's not true, Your Honor. Your Honor, Your Honor, that's not true, Your Honor. She, I was doing her tattoo, I was doing a cover-up, right? And my girl coming out there snooping as always, so I expect that. Snooping? Yeah, when she came down there, I was doing a tattoo, she was like, that's your girl? I'm like, yeah, she was like, oh, she's really cute. I said, I know, I know, look, she thick like cold oatmeal. Like, I know she bad. <laughs>
I read the messages in his phone. This is how I know she wanted to Who have she a threesome. Who she wanted to have a threesome And with, he, he went to Chicago for a little while. Right. And when he came back, he made sure to message her and tell her, I'm back in Cleveland. You still trying to have that threesome? And I let her know, though, Your Honor. I let her know that she was... I, never got the knowledge. That she was gonna be I, I never knew anything about it. I, I, I got a good picture of what's going on here. <laughs> Mr. Taylor, you say uh, you should be paid $300 from Ms. Washington for a LG Smart TV that she broke... Tell me about it. Oh, my God. We There's got the TV. Yeah, we got... Look at that. What happened? I had my own place. She had her own place. So when we was dating, I had my own place. She had her own place. Right. So at the time, I was going through some financial problems. So I decided that, listen, I'll just move my I move in with her. You know what right. I mean? Until I get back together. Right. So I brought my stuff over there. And it didn't last, but like maybe like two or three months, we get in an argument. So I'm like, man, I'm about to leave. Like, uh -huh. I ain't got to stay here. Like, I'm just let you know, I ain't got to stay here. I can leave. So as I'm getting all my stuff... I'm trying to take my TV. No, you ain't taking no TV. You know, it's my TV. But she trying to say I gave it to her. No, I let you use it because it was not enough TVs in the room for everybody to watch. She only right. had like two TVs, so I brought one of my TVs over there so we can watch it. So as, as we got in an argument, I'm trying to leave. As I'm walking out the house, Your Honor, she pushed me while I got the TV in my hand, pushed me on the couch, and then I, I don't know how it happened, but I fell on my TV and I said, you broke my TV. This is an elaborate story. What did, he, what did you say happened? So what happened was he had another experience of cheating. That I was found not out. True, Your Honor. Okay. We got into an argument. That's why he I gets left. mad at me because okay. I didn't elaborate on the, on him cheating. I didn't care. At this point, I'm just I don't care. Whatever. Right. Yeah, you had he had a financial situation. He had to come stay with me. He sold one of his TVs. I was going to buy the TV. He told me I can have it. I guess he wanted to give it to me as payment for coming and staying with me. Whatever. That's you told me true, I can have it, so I'm keeping it. I had it for months. He stayed with me on and off. Your Honor, I got a question. At this Honor. point, he, at this point, he decides, oh, he wants to, he want to move out because we got into it about him cheating. So he breaks into my house, breaks into, yeah, he broke my back door, breaks into my house, and told me to call the police because the police is not going to do anything but tell him that he stays here. So I said, you know what, you're right. I'm the one who told him that. So I know you're right. Whatever. He said, but I'm going to call the police anyway so they can tell you. So I said, no, you just get out. Just get your stuff and get out. So he decides he want to pick up my TV that he didn't gave me. I'm he telling decides. you. Did that happen? Yeah. Yes. That, that, that's somewhat true, Your Honor. Somewhat <laughs> true. Can I just say the following? <laughs> if you're going to engage in a relationship, you got to have some boundaries and some borders. You can't be breaking up every other month, taking TVs off the wall and walking out with your TV <laughs> yeah. and all that kind of stuff. You've got two children together. You got to build a stable home. Whatever's happening over here, don't be fussing about it. Sit down, talk, have a conversation. Actually, I think you're a great couple. I really do. Mm -hmm. uh, I, think, I, I think you love him, and, and I think he loves you. I think everything is going to be fine. Uh, I, I believe her story about TV. She had way too many details. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> what happened. I know that's what happened. So you're not getting anything except for this woman is staying at you, staying with you. Because I know that's what it is. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. All right, let's try and figure out this sex schedule. All right, seven times, did I hear that correctly? Yeah. I mean, what's oh, nothing wrong with that, is it? It's sad, right? I'm, I'm, Look at you. You like, he like. a little bit here, because I, I love you, but I just, I just want more. Like, I mean, more. I know you love me. I mean, because you, you can't get enough, but at the same time, like, it's like, can I get enough? <laughs> you gotta find a happy medium. What do you think? We want three happy times medium? is fine with me. Right, that's, that's generous. I could give him breakfast. I could give him breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I need a snack too.